you guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com. Many of you guys have requested me to review the latest version of the Smooth ROM on the Nexus 7. This is Smooth ROM version 5. It's based on Android 4.2.2, so we'll go ahead and jump into settings. And about tablet, you guys can see that we're running Android 4.2.2. I'm on the Trinity kernel, but there are several to choose from. We'll get into that whenever we go over the install. Uh, but first, I just kind of wanted to show you guys how fast and smooth it is. Runs very smooth. Uh, it's getting pretty high quadrant scores. Uh, we can overclock this now, which is pretty cool. So we'll go into settings. And I'll show you guys all the custom features. If you guys are familiar with AOKP, then you probably already know what this ROM includes because it does include the ROM control. If we go into performance control, you can overclock all the way to 1700 megahertz. We're also able to set custom governors here as well. We can change our voltage settings. And there's plenty of different things that we can do here in the performance control. I'm going to go on back to 1300 megahertz because it runs plenty fine there and we're not draining battery uh, going on the lower setting. If we go to ROM control, we've got all kinds of customizations here. In general UI, uh, you can choose the custom boot animation and of course now it gives us a preview before we select it and set it. You can disable the boot animation altogether. You have custom carry labels so when you pull down, um, theoretically it should have well, it doesn't there, but it should have Droid Modder X. You can now choose the notification background so that when you pull down your notifications, you should have a photo there in the background if you choose one. You can show the notification count so that when notifications come in, it'll show you how many are there. Uh, there is a status bar brightness slider. So you can grab that status bar and adjust the brightness like so. UI mode, you can change this to a full-on tablet, and it does that on the fly, so now your status bar is down here. And then, of course, you can go back to phablet mode very quickly and easily. We have 180-degree rotation. We have some lock screen settings here. Uh, you can add battery percentage to your lock screen. You can use the widget carousel on the lock screen. You can choose to have volume wake and volume music controls on your lock screen. You can allow for lock screen rotation, which is good if you're using the carousel widgets. And you can allow all widgets, meaning not just the one that Google enables in 4.2.2, but you can use any widget that you can put on your phone. You'll be able to use that on your lock screen if you select that. And you can allow for unlimited widgets as well from the lock screen. If we go into the power menu, uh, we can choose to turn on the torch toggle and the screenshot. Navigation bar, you can change up your navigation bar like I have here. Uh, with the Samsung devices, I've gotten so used to having my menu button on the left side and my back button on the right side. You can change the quantity of buttons in your nav bar up to seven and then you can en enable applications for those buttons as well which is cool like so I'm just gonna quickly change that back to the menu button and then you have some other settings such as the nav bar height and width so you can change that to a lower height to give you more screen real estate. That's always nice. You can change the transparency. And then the navigation ring. Uh, this is a newer update in AOKP and in the Smooth ROM here. You can change targets. So like the Google Now one, we all know about that. But you can add applications to that ring now. Up to five applications. And of course you would just grab a ring. and you would choose whatever application you like and now whenever you grab that ring that's where it's at of course you'd have to come up here and save that now when you go back home you'll have quick access to the browser or whatever from wherever you are so let's say you're browsing the web or you're in the play store and you want to quickly go to an app that's an easy way to jump to an app from anywhere on your device we'll head back into settings and look at the rest of this settings and ROM control. Toggles, you can change your toggle layout. You can change the buttons that go into there. 
Uh, you can change the style if you wanted to go back to traditional toggles. You can do that as well. You see them there. You can change how many you want per row and now you can change your favorite contact. So instead of it being your ugly mug there, you can choose whoever you want to show up in your contacts tile. Battery, there's plenty of different icon styles to choose from. I normally go with text only. You can add the battery bar there if you like. Clock, you can choose to go with the center, right, or no clock at all. You can add the AM and PM and also the day of the week. I normally keep those off there just so that it's nice and clean. And then you can also pick a color there as well. And then you have some signal settings. And that is pretty much it for the customization on Smooth ROM. This is a very clean, very simple uh, ROM. It does have all the customization settings that you will need. It just runs very nice and smooth, hence the name Smooth ROM. Um, this has to be one of the most popular ROMs out for the Nexus 7 to date. So we'll go ahead and install this. It does include the Aroma installer where you can uh, change up some of your settings. So we'll reboot into recovery. Okay, so once we're in recovery, the install is very easy. You're going to wipe, factory reset, swipe to wipe, cache, swipe to wipe, Dalvik cache, swipe to wipe. When you're finished with all that, you'll go back and install. And you're looking for, in your download folder, you're looking for Smooth ROM 5.0. You'll go ahead and install that. And then the Aroma installer should pop up. And it does, so we'll go next. And it's telling you uh, all the donators here. If you want your name on this list, head to the link in the description and give a donation to the developer. So here's where we get to do some of our customization. He's included lots of different kernels. Uh, my favorite is the Trinity kernel. So that's one that I'll go with, but there's several others to choose from there. And then you can choose your browser. I prefer stock browser. And then you can choose to either uh, go with the ad blocker or not. And you can have the Google apps if you like them. I normally just go ahead and install them here. But if you have a different package, you can install that through Torp later. And then it will begin to install the ROM. This normally takes about five minutes, so we'll just kind of leave this here. And as soon as it finishes up, we will head out with the boot animation. Okay guys, so when it's finished installing, you will see uh, this, you'll see this screen here. We'll go ahead and hit next, and we'll finish, and we can go ahead and reboot the system. So guys, that has been Smooth ROM version 5 for the Nexus 7, Android 4.2.2. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Nexus 7 and other devices. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx where I'll announce any giveaways or anything uh, that I'm doing as far as articles or videos. You'll find all that information on my Twitter account. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.